This photograph of a mural with the Black Lives Matter slogan spray painted on the cement wall of the Spalding Turnpike overpass on Blackwood Road sparked controversy in Rochester. The woman in the picture, 50 year old Beth Wittenberg of Rochester. She allegedly took responsibility for the artwork and turned herself into police. When the officers went out there and responded to the scene, um, they saw the vandalism, um, which was graffiti type art or street art, if you will. Um, and at the bottom of that was the, some initials. Um, later on, we followed up on some social media tips as well as tips from the public, um, which led us to a suspect. It was on July 18th that police first discovered the graffiti. They used social media to help find the person responsible. It wasn't long before they were led to Wittenberg. We spoke to Wittenberg, who told News 9 that the message of the mural was to make people think about equality for black people in America and bring the issue of racism to the forefront. But because it was done on public property, police issued a warrant for Wittenberg's arrest. Soon after, she turned herself in. We treat this like any type of vandalism, any time vandalism is done to somebody else's property. In this case, damage was done to the state of New Hampshire. Um, we investigate it and then we charge accordingly. The state has already cleaned and repainted the wall, a cost that they say will ultimately be deferred to the taxpayers. Well, the overpass belongs to the state of New Hampshire. It's handled by the Department of Transportation. So therefore, state funds have to be used to repair this. Now, Wittenberg declined our request for an on-camera interview, saying that her lawyer advised her not to speak any more to the media. She was released on $1,500 personal recognizance bail. She is due again in court for her arraignment on August 15th. We are live in Rochester. Naoko Funayama, WMUR News 9.